Hello guys, welcome back to Moto Universe channel, we hope you guys are doing well. Today we gonna show 2024 BMW F800G's first look review, and explain the details of the bike. We hope you guys enjoy it, please don't forget to subscribe for more videos, thanks for watching. The F850 GS debuted in 2017 and received an update in 2021. So you'd think it's still fairly new with no need for an update. But the folks at BMW Motorrad think otherwise, which is why the German giant has debuted an overhauled F900 GS for 2024. In addition, there's also an updated F900 GS Adventure and F800 GS, replacement for the F750 GS. All bikes have several noteworthy updates in almost all aspects, but the F900 GS is simply the headline maker. So here's everything you need to know. Diving right in, the US spec F850 GS employed an 853 cubic centimeters twin cylinder mill that produced 90 horsepower at 8,000 RPM and 63 pound feet at 6,250 RPM. That has now made way to welcome an 895 cubic centimeters twin cylinder mill on the F900 GS. Though identical to the F900XR, it's been tuned to churn 105 horsepower at 8,500 RPM and 68.6 pound-feet at 6,750 RPM for extra fun, all sent to the wheel via a six-speed transmission. With the added horsepower, the F900 GS is now more powerful than its arch-rival, the 94 HP Triumph Tiger 900 Rally, and on par with the KTM 890 Adventure. Like the engine, the underpinnings have gone under the knife too. The F900 GS has an all-new tubular subframe, partnered by top-shelf Showa upside-down forks and monoshock. The suspension is now fully adjustable and has considerably more travel at each end. Wondering why there's a new subframe? Well, weight reduction. The company claims the 900 GS is a whopping 30 pounds lighter than the 850. Not all of it is from the subframe, though. The new plastic fuel tank, battery, side stand, and an Acropovic titanium slip-on, standard, play a key role too. Coming to design, the F900 GS takes on a more minimalistic attire than the F850 GS, courtesy of several new elements. There's a new LED headlight up top, flanked by new side fairings. You no longer get the front beak, which creates a much more compact fascia. Compact is also how you can define the sharp tail end, complete with 3-in-1 LEDs. These function as the turn signals, brake light, and hazard lamps, the same as the S1000RR. The plastic tank is all new as well, but holds 3.83 gallons, down from the F850's 3.96 gallons. You can get the GS in three finishes slash variants Blackstorm Metallic, Sao Paulo Yellow, and the top shelf Light White slash Racing Blue Metallic. The F900 GS might be the headline maker, but BMW has also updated the F900 GS Adventure and F800 GS. The 900 GSA flaunts the new 895 cubic centimeters mill with the same output as the non-adventure model. Likewise, the fully adjustable Showa suspension comes standard here too. Another noteworthy update has come to its styling. It features bullier side panels than before, which create a more muscular presence. Part of the credit also goes to the new aluminum bash plate down under. Meanwhile, the least number of changes have come to the F800 GS. It boasts the same 895 cubic centimeters mill, albeit detuned to gush out 87 horsepower and 67 pound-feet. Heated grips are now standard, and so are the Vario case carrier and hand guards. All other elements, including the aesthetic, are identical to its predecessor, the F750 GS. 
BMW USA has shed little light on when these new adventure bikes will set foot in America. However, we do know these are all 2024 models, so the early months of next year seem like a good guess as of now. Once out, the trio will cost more than their predecessors. For reference, here's the current price list. 2023 BMW F850 GS $12,595 2023 BMW F850 GS Adventure $13,595 2023 BMW F750 GS $9,995